When Titan TV's on the case, everybody's in the splash zone. And the water is truth. Just a little over 250 million years ago, they were on top of the world. They were famous from every corner of Pangaea, and were the Earth's most dominant terrestrial vertebrae for over 160 million years. But what led to the downfall of the most powerful species to ever own the Earth? Time TV presents a special investigative report. Dinosaurs. Where are they now? Times were great. We could go wherever we wanted, do whatever we wanted. Always plenty of leaves to eat. Wherever I went, you know, I was instantly recognized. Wherever I went, people knew the name Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes, it seemed as if dinosaurs could do no wrong. That is until 145 million years ago, when tragedy struck in the Cretaceous period. When Pangaea started displaying the small continents, a lot of um, rivalries began to develop. It was dinosaur versus dinosaur, East Coast Pangaea versus West Coast Pangaea. There was a lot of violence. But you know, we were, we were all kids, man. We didn't know how bad it'd get. It was this destructive cocktail of explosive violence that ripped dinosaurs from their throne atop the food chain. But while dinosaurs' own popularity floundered, a new species called mammal flourished. Soon, many dinosaurs were forced to take up low-paying and comically degrading jobs just to support their struggling families. And a mere 80 million years later, by the end of the Cretaceous period, Dinosaurs had all but disappeared. But how? And more importantly, why? Some say the public eye was too much for them to handle, and the reptiles simply bowed out to live simpler lives. Still, others believe dinosaurs faked their extinction as a final publicity stunt to preserve their dying fame. Uh, there's also some theory going around about a meteor or something, but I haven't looked into it. Still, the question remains, where are they now? Most have gone on to live away from the spotlight. They are the store clerk at your local 7-Eleven, the gym teacher at your son's elementary school. They are your mechanic, your rabbi. Who knows, your own mother may actually be a dinosaur in disguise. So today we salute you brave Jurassic giants. And next time you walk past an Ancrosaurus on the street, stop and take just a minute to give him a pat on the back and say, thanks for the memories.